Got myself a juice. I, d I went real simple today. Just went apple, Meyer lemons, which I've been liking lately, and tons of spinach. This is good. I made some for Judy, too. Maybe she'll show you in her vlog. But um, it is raining. Look at that. It's just like... Let me, let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can actually see, but it's just sprinkling everywhere. That's Washington for you. Sometimes I do wish I lived in California. You guys are so lucky you get the sun year round. I used to live in uh, San Diego. I loved it there. Anyway, so about to take care of some business. I'll vlog a little bit later. Good morning. I woke up not so happy camper. I was pissed out. Benji for, I don't even know what he did. Like he tried to give me a wet willy or something and then he like put it on my face. So disgusting. I was so pissed. He left knowing I was pissed. Anyways, I am editing my vlog. Uh, vlog. Uh, okay, so I didn't edit the vlog last night. I was too sleepy. I'm sorry. So the vlog is just going up now. And I just finished editing my palettes video, my favorite palettes. So that will also be up and I'll have the link down below. It's going to be on my It's Judy Time beauty channel. So we've been really good about using up all of our food in our fridge lately. And I'm just using up whatever we have left of like the cheese. Cause I bought this crap load of cheese at Costco and Benji's like, why did you get so much cheese? I really don't know why. Oh, I think I got it because uh, my when my nephew, my nephews and my godson were coming. Um, I want to do like grilled cheese. I don't know. I don't justify my spending too well. Anyways, and then we had some chicken and these tortilla wraps. So um, I'm I'm cooking up some quesadillas and then we'll just put it in the fridge to eat for whenever we're hungry. But this time I shredded the chicken. I just boiled it in water and shredded the chicken so that it's not as chunky. Uh, hopefully this one will be a lot better. And I'm gonna make some lasagna so we could use up more of that cheese. I have some lasagna pasta. Um, so I just need to go out and buy some sausage meat. And what else do you need? Oh yeah, check this out. Mm -mm -mm. We got this package in the mail. Um, I've been waiting for this because all day. It's pretty awesome. But get this, I am so po'd with FedEx right now. You wouldn't believe what happened. So I was expecting this package to come this morning, and the tracking said that it arrived at 10 o'clock, and it's what now five o'clock. So we called FedEx, we're all like, um, the package didn't come. They they said that uh, it was delivered. So anyway, I had an idea. I was like, I don't know how they could say it's delivered if it's I've been home all day basically. It turned out that they sent it to the wrong building. So when she went there, and for sure enough, it's sitting right there in the front door. Anyways, I'm so excited. I saw this online. And this is, if you own a lot of makeup and you're trying to organize, this is going to be your holy grail of uh, organizers. Your holy grail? The holy grail! Could you organize tea in that? No. Oh. It's like... <laughs> it looks like kind of like a kitchen tool or something. Yeah, you could organize tea in that thing. Check Whoa! This out. So this is a Lori Grainer um, organizing tool, and this is one. Actually, I'm gonna set it up in my makeup room so you can see its full potential. But you put your lipsticks on here. You could put your makeup brushes, and then on the sides you could put look the perfect size for like um, uh, your compact powders, 
you could put uh, like individual eyeshadows. This is so awesome. So I could put everything that I use right on top of my desk rather than it being piled random drawers. Do you think she has one for tea? Because I need one for tea. My tea <laughs> section is crazy over tea. there. I guess you could put tea in it. Yeah, I guess. Oh no, no, I, I need, she needs to make one for tea. Yeah. Lori, we need a tea organizer. No, but this is cool too, because if you wanted to put something inside here, you could do so. But I like it like this. So you can um, she's going to be on Shark Tank, and as a little promotional offer, I asked, uh, they asked for me to promote it, and I said, only if you could do a giveaway for my viewers. So they're giving away 50. Of these awesome organizers. Just did my makeup and I used, I wanted to test to see how useful this product was, and it was really easy. I was able to just spin this. So I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is. Um, I didn't bother putting my brushes in there because I just have so many brushes that I use, but this is what it looks like. And you can get this at qvc.com or lauriegrenier.com. I'll have the websites down below. It's only, I believe, $27. But on the top here, you get all these like little compartments to put your lipsticks. Uh, you get, you could put like little eyeshadow palettes if you have up here. I have here my mascaras, lip liners, eyeliners. Um, Stuff that I use every day, like I have my tweezers here, lash curler, my brow trimmer, uh, eyeliner, some more lipsticks, lip glosses, primer, and then down in these compartments, it's pretty cool because they have like individual compartments that you can actually, I don't know if people know this, but you can detach these so you can put larger, um, items in here you know actually I'm gonna put my bronzer here there you go <laughs> dude that totally works okay so I got my bronzer there um, let's see what, a blush or my mineralized skin finish that I just used as blush I got some more blushes um, here down here I actually have my uh, Mali, this is the Ever Ever Color Poreless Face Defender. I love this because I have such oily skin. And then I put my palettes in here. Like I have my um, Naked Palette. Actually, let me show you from the other end because it has the dividers. Naked Palette. I have my um, Blush Palette, uh, Eyeshadow MAC Palette, some more eyeshadows. And then here, I just had a little bit of space, so I added this Neutrogena Blush that I use. Um, and then I took out one of the little dividers and then I put my moisturizer in here. I got my other eyeshadow palette that I use a lot. And then in this side, see, I took out the divider. I don't know where to put this. Maybe I'll just put it, hide it somewhere in the bottom because if I want to use it again. And then here I have my brows that I use every day. I try to put stuff on here that I use every single day. Um, my finishing sprays, model in a bottle, the Skin de Navia, I love it. Um, my brush cleaner, Fix Plus. I got the blushes that I use on an everyday basis. This is a sponge that I use. I know it looks kind of gross. Uh, I could probably wash that. Uh, but I use it every single day. And then I have my um, what do you call it? My sharpener. These are the two individual shadows that I use a lot and I just haven't depotted yet. I could put something here now. I don't know what to put here. Um, my nail polish stuff, some of my favorite colors. And oh, and now that I'm pregnant, I know I should be really uh, careful on what I put in my nails. I double checked and I know L'Oreal for sure is safe to use. I should double check on this though, but L'Oreal Nail Polish and Sally Hansen is safe. Uh, I got some of my foundations. 
And that's basically it. If you want a chance to win this, I have a photo on my Facebook. Just go ahead and comment once, and then I'm going to pick 15 winners. So Laura Grenier, she is like an entrepreneur, businesswoman. She has like a ton of products that she has on QVC and on her website. And um, she's going to be on Shark Tank, which I don't know if you guys have ever seen that show, but it's basically um, like judges or sharks that um, listen to inventors or you know, people are trying to pitch their product and then they e they either give them a yay or nay and it's like an intense show, but really good, especially if you're into business. So the creator, Laura Grenier, is going to be on the show. She's going to be one of the sharks tomorrow on ABC 8 p.m. Just got done with Taekwondo, headed home, been working out a lot. I've got a Taekwondo tournament in two days. I'm excited, a little nervous. And um, I hope the guy that I'm going to have to fight, or the guys that I'm going to have to fight, aren't watching this. But, um, yeah, I've been in uh, really good shape. I weigh 171 pounds. I haven't weighed that much, probably like five or six years now, because that's how long it's been since I've competed. But uh, anybody that works out hard or has very high endurance knows what I'm talking about. But... There's no feeling better than when you're in shape and you just feel good and you feel healthy and your muscles are strong. It's a good feeling. If you guys uh, have been slacking on exercising for whatever reason, if you uh, want to get in shape but you haven't done it, just do it. Just uh, get in the gym, join a fitness club or join some kind of martial arts, join something fun. Because it's, it's a really good feeling. Anyway, it's going to go home to my woman, Judy. She's been cooking me some delicious meals. And I'm going to eat it. Oh, yeah. So right now I'm whipping up some lasagna. I haven't, had, I haven't, I haven't made lasagna in a long time. So the kitchen's kind of messy right now. But I'm adding some spinach to our lasagna. Because it's actually really delicious with it. This is the before. Honey, let's see how you fixed your, um, fixed the thing you got out of the garbage can. Oh yeah. So we were walking one day and I saw a perfectly good dustpan and broom in the trash. Look, this is a perfectly good. He washed it when we got home that night. And look, I just taped it up. Like brand new. Well, it's not like brand new. There you go. I'm sure we saved like 12 bucks. Yeah, 12 bucks for like literally three minutes of work. So yeah. that's worth it to me. Told you guys she was going to cook something delicious. Oh, you knew? I knew. I was like, oh yeah. It's still not done yet. Mmm. <sighs> oh, lasagna? Yeah. With chicken? Nope. With sausages? Sausage and... Beef. Were you able to get organic sausage? I don't know. Huh. It's organic. Who came up with doing the spinach on top like that? Uh, me. Oh, cool. Why? I'm just curious. That's cool. I've never seen that before. It's a first. I can't wait. I'm hungry. I was thinking tomorrow would be cool to eat spaghetti with Tyson because that used to be our uh, oh, tradition. Carbs. Yeah, you eat Not carbs. necessarily carbs, but like a hearty meal. And spaghetti was just our thing that we always did. I'm excited! Yeah! Oh, look at that Parmesan cheese, yeah! Parmesan. What are you cooking up, hun? I'm gonna just cook up those mushrooms because you like those mushrooms and we cook them up like how my, my grandma does it. Yeah, I tried to do it and it, get, it just didn't turn out as good as a botch on. Uh, Here's the lasagna. I accidentally messed up Benji's piece. But um, so far it smells good. Hopefully it tastes good. Benji just cooked up some um, mushrooms, which I sh wish I would have added mushrooms in the lasagna, so this works out well. And then we have our uh, veggies and fruit. Got done with dinner and I am so full.
Yeah. It was good, especially good with Benji's mushrooms. Um, if you guys are wondering where I got the recipe, I just Google. I just Google all the recipes that I make. I Googled lasagna recipe and 101 of them came up. I just added uh, spinach because I like adding spinach to our food. Mama, it's my pregnant. Whoa, ouch! She hit me in the face, people. See what I live with? See what I live with? Anyways, I'm watching something boring. I'm gonna show you how to use this once I actually do my can makeup. I, can gonna... I stop filming now? It's been four minutes. Okay. But this is so exciting! Yay! Not for me. And stupid FedEx.